Hey, how's it going everybody? David here and welcome back to the Best Damn Reaction channel on YouTube. And today I'm going to be reacting to the Captain Amor America, that came out retarded, Captain America Civil War final trailer. So many pieces up back together now. What's your vision? I woke up today and my phone was blown up telling me that Spider-Man was finally revealed. So, let's get this shit in. Okay. Alright. One, two, three, go. This job. We try to save as many people as we can. Sometimes that doesn't mean everybody. That's not what happened in uh, Age of Ultron. You try to save everyone even if you were all gonna die. Come on, man. You're changing your tune. New York. Washington, D.C. Sokovia. To be fair, Sokovia kind of was okay. the Avengers' fault, That's but the nice. other ones weren't. Captain, people are afraid. It makes sense, people are always afraid. That's why I'm here. Oh, Chadwick Boseman, that was the Black Panther. We need to be put in check. At least I think it was Chadwick Boseman. Whatever form that takes, really I'm like him. I'm sorry, Tony. If I see a situation pointed south, I can't ignore it. Sometimes I wish I could. Sometimes I want to punch you in your perfect teeth. I know we're not perfect. Yeah, Black Panther. <laughs> Safest hands are still our own. He's alive. They're not gonna kill him. He's probably gonna be injured though. The whole world was wrong about you. They're coming for you. I'm not the one that needs to watch their back. This doesn't have to end in a fight, Tony. It's like, yeah, it does. You just started a war. Is that the Lux Eterna? That song that came out in that one movie? Ant Man. Crossbones. Sit down. Final warning. I could do this all day. <laughs> Throwback. That was pretty good. Yeah. Where was Spider-Man though? All right, I've run out of patience. On the roof! Fuck yeah! Hey everyone! Oh shit! That was awesome! Oh my god! They got somehow Tom Holland is already perfect to Spider-Man. He's got that like chill demeanor. Oh my god! Um. <clears throat> Overall, it was a really good trailer. I think it does a good job setting up like the themes for the movie. It does a good job of telling us what's going to happen in the movie. Um, <clears throat> as for... Well, yeah, there really wasn't anything wrong with it as far as I could tell. Um, they're focusing more on the overarching story rather than... Because um, like, if you watch the other trailers, uh, the other trailers were just, Oh, Bucky's my friend and I'm going to stand by him and blah, 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 all this stuff. Um, uh, not that those aren't interesting like uh character development and the relationships between characters are big in films even superhero films but this time we're really focusing on this is what's going on in the world and this is why the teams are fighting which is good because you know a lot of i've heard a lot of people who aren't as uh you know fans as big of fans as uh of the superhero genre they're kind of talking about like oh um uh, what's up with the superheroes why are they fighting each other blah 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 you know that sort of thing um <clears throat> Okay, let's just talk about Spider-Man, man. That was pretty good. I'm thinking that uh, Spider-Man somehow either... I'm thinking that he had a lot of help from Tony Stark. That's the running theory that everybody's like, oh, I'm a, he's been Spider-Man. He's been doing all this crazy stuff. And then Tony uh, Stark meets him. And then he's like, oh, let me get you the web shooters because, you know, you're a spider. And then, oh, let me help you out with this costume. Because if you noticed, his eyes kind of like shrank down. And unlike uh, if, in Deadpool, his eyes were like expressive, like they, they would move around, like it would, he would like raise an eyebrow, the eye would get bigger and all that. I don't think that's what they're going for. I think that the lenses are, are high tech, 
I think that like they can zoom in, zoom out, that sort of thing. I think that's what was going on. And um, uh, so I think that those are all gifts from Tony because in the comic, uh, he was Team Tony for a while before he switched over to uh, Team Cap. And um, what else, what else, what else? Um, he had a pretty good entry. You can tell that he's been doing this for a while, even though he's technically 14 or something like that. That's another angle that I'm wondering how they're going to tackle. Like, what are they going to do when they unmask him? Because he's probably going to be unmasked. What are they going to do when they unmask him? And they're like, this dude's a kid. Tony, why the fuck are you bringing children into the war zone? You know, I'm wondering how that's going to go for everyone. Uh, in particular, Tony in particular. But yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, to be honest, as excited as I am at this trailer, I'm also a little bit disappointed. Because they kind of did what... DC did in the Batman v Superman trailers because Spider-Man was this hook that everybody was looking forward to and um, uh, and then they put him in the trailer and that's the same thing that happened with Doomsday because everybody was so excited with Doomsday and um, uh, and all of this stuff and then they showed him right in the trailer and don't get me wrong I'm, I love Spider-Man and I did enjoy this trailer but I still feel that it was kind of like you didn't really have to show him because the people were going to go watch it anyway. And it's true that it doesn't show much, but the Doomsday trailer didn't show much either, and, you know, they just revealed it. So, that was slightly disappointing. I, like I said, I enjoyed the trailer, I even enjoyed the Batman v Superman trailer, but I think it, it was a bit of a mistake to just cram them in there, you know? So that's just my thought on that. I like that, um, uh, they, they, he's kind of, st he, uh, Tony Stark is kind of teasing Spider-Man. He called him Underoos, I don't know if you guys heard that, but Underoos are like, superhero underwear they were like super colorful and all of that so yeah that, they were really popular in like the 90s for children and so he's like calling them underoos but other than that um uh, i just can't fucking wait for this movie what is it where how far are we from the release date anyway civil war release oh it's coming it's not coming out till may it's still a ways away i was for some reason i'm uh yeah, Batman v Superman is coming out really recently in like two weeks, I think. So yeah, I'm definitely going to see Batman v Superman. Um, uh, Daredevil's coming out in like eight days, I think. Fuck. This is the month of the superhero. Alright, um, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to the video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little discussion about it. Um, if not, you guys can, I don't know, go suck a dick or something. And I will see you guys later. Yeah.